Hey guys, what is up? Welcome back. Thanks for tuning back in again. I hope you had a fantastic Saturday. So today, uh, caught up with some friends, Rich and Adele Bryant, who've just had a kid, Brooklyn. Fantastic couple, great to see them again. Didn't do much today, went and saw the movie La La Land with Aaron. We just saw La La Land, what'd you think? I thought it was fantastic. Yeah, it was pretty good, yeah. I liked it too. There will be a review at some point from both of us at some point. Yeah. Yeah, it was good though. I really didn't expect to like this movie. 20 minutes in, I was thinking, this movie is gonna suck. But by the 21st minute, I actually started to like this film. I will go into depth more uh, sometime later next week. I, I like to ruminate on the film a little bit more because I've been fooled by this stuff before where I really like the film and then the week after I'm like, Bleh. So I'm gonna talk about a strange topic today. Completely, completely left field. So you guys can completely dismiss this. It's a God talk. It's an idea that I had this week. Um, so I don't know if you guys are gonna be on board of this. So I was watching this video with Carl Sagan. He was talking about what the fourth dimension was. In discussing the large scale structure of the cosmos, astronomers sometimes say that space is curved or that the universe is uh, finite but unbounded. It's a really old video on YouTube. You can link in the description below. Uh, he talks about the fourth dimension. He uses example of if you existed in the two-dimensional plane. So example, there is a reality that is only two dimensions and we exist in the third dimension. Uh, we understand the third dimension really well, but people in the two-dimensional world wouldn't be able to interpret what the third dimension is because they've never seen it. They couldn't interpret it. They couldn't really understand or have the comprehension skills to understand what the third dimension is because they don't live there. One of the interesting things in that talk was that he used a cube and showed how it would project a shadow into the two dimension, which is the only way that a two dimensional person could see a three dimensional object is through the projection but they wouldn't be actually be able to see the three dimensional object. And then he moved on to talk about a fourth dimensional object, which he said was a cube inside a cube, as you can see from the video here. And what he was talking about was the projection of this four dimensional cube in the third dimension was just a projection, like the cube that he was holding was just a projection, but that's not actually what it would look like. He said that the fourth dimensional cube would be something we wouldn't be able to comprehend or understand. You see, while we cannot imagine the world of four dimensions, we can certainly think about it. I'd like to share a revelation that I've had. <gasps> now, being a person who believes in God, this got me thinking, maybe the reason why we can't see God or we can't move into that realm is because he exists in a dimension we're not able to quantify, able to see or comprehend. And, but there are glimpses of it in our actual world, but we don't understand what it means. We see the projection and then we're trying to extrapolate information from it, but we don't have the tools or the ability to be able to figure out what that projection is. It's based on the fact that we have these clues of what our reality is, but we don't actually know because it's a projection of something that we can't see or feel or touch. So the possibility, it sort of encouraged me as a, as a, as a Christian that the reason why we can't see these things is because we don't have the ability to go there. It's not a realm that we can explore or visit or understand because we are not built to go there. It's a pretty crazy theory. I'm not saying it makes complete sense. It was just something that I thought was interesting. I, I would love to know what you guys think if it is just completely ludicrous, if you think it is just completely insane, but I, I don't know, I got my juices flowing. I, I'm always into the whole parallel universe dimension, blah, blah, blah. You know, what is the fourth dimension? I mean, people say the fourth dimension is time, but I don't know. Maybe it's something we can't comprehend. Who can prove what the fourth dimension is? I don't know. Who made up these rules anyway? Love to know your thoughts. Hit me up in the comments and I'll see you next time. Uh, group settings is added again. This stuff, Nick Koo. If you check out this clip here where they're doing their podcast, uh, they call me out in terrible ways. I mean... It, it's awful. Um, Ali, uh, I thought we were friends, but clearly we're not. Um, you know this means war.